Bollywood dumplings. Okay, so I've never been to India, but I love the music and I love the food, and that's a great thing about cooking because you can bring different cultures into your home. So, when you're talking about Indian cooking, there's a thing called the Holy Trinity, and it's ginger, onions, and garlic. And here's a great tip. If you're gonna make Indian food, you're gonna use ginger and garlic all over the place. So I like to chop it all up at the beginning, and then you can get cooking away. So, a little bit of work to do. All right, so if you're not super good with a knife, here's another good tip. If you get a little food processor, just put the ginger and the garlic in it. Bop, 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 bop. It'll chop it up and then chop the onions by hand. All right, so for the Bollywood dumplings, this is really simple. I'm gonna make a sauce too, so the sauce is gonna get a lot of garlic, the ginger, and the onions. So a bit of ginger, onion, and garlic. And then this is the fun part. You can make it your own. This is when you get to spice it out. Mmm, coriander. This is really fragrant stuff and it's really citrusy and fruity. And if you have whole seeds and you bash it up fresh, now you're talking ridiculous flavor. And garam masala. Garam masala is really fun. You can make your own blends, but there's a ton of stuff in here. And anytime I smell garam masala, it just smells like India. Awesome. So a couple shots. And don't be shy with the spice. Really lean into it. It's your chance to get it really nice and tasty. And classic in butter chicken is some sweet heat from the paprika. And then cumin. Cumin is the quintessential spice in all Indian cooking. Every time I smell it, I think to myself, we're having Indian! So don't be shy with the cumin. Actually, out of the spices, I use cumin the most. And then just for a little bit of color, a little bit of turmeric, and it's really nice and floral as well. Awesome. Super simple. Season it with some salt. And then I like to put in just a little bit of cilantro. And coriander is the seed from cilantro, and it's really nice and fragrant and citrusy. But then you put in some fresh cilantro, and then it makes the chicken really nice and fresh. And then just a shot of oil to kind of bind it all together, and that's it. Give it a mix. So you can use this with beef or lamb, but I find chicken or turkey, the meat is so mild in taste that when you throw in all of those spices, it really comes alive. All right, to make the dumplings, this is pretty fun. These wonton wrappers you can basically find just about anywhere. And I like to do it like an assembly line. So if you do one at a time, it's gonna take you forever. But if you line it all up and get like five or six going, then it makes the job a lot quicker. So I have a, you know, I usually always overstuff my dumplings, and that's a really good tip. You don't want to overstuff it. You just want enough to sit in there to have a nice pocket. And that's another good tip. You really want the dumpling to close, because I'm going to steam it and then cook it in a little bit of butter chicken sauce. <laughs> what? Yep, I'm going to cook it in butter chicken sauce. So don't overstuff it, because you really want to seal it all up. And this is great, right? You don't have to do one at a time. You can do this, get the family involved, get the kids off the couch. Quit watching YouTube! Just kidding, continue to watch. All right, <laughs> just keep on filling it up. <laughs> All right, to seal it is super simple. So I just get a little bit of water, get your finger wet, and you wanna go around the edges. You don't need an egg wash or anything. The wonton wrappers are really starchy. And then I like to go tip to tip and close it. And this is a really important part. Like, kind of take your time here. Make sure it gets really nice and sealed. There's no air pockets. And then just a little bit of water on either side and fold it together. And it kind of makes this cool little hat. 
And then if you steam it and you cook it in the butter chicken sauce, there's like these peaks and valleys and crevices. It just hangs to that sauce. Not only is the chicken filling delicious, but the sauce is going to be banging. All right, just a little bit of work to do. Then it's steaming time. Woohoo! Anytime I make these, I make them in really big batches. The mix is so easy to make, and then if you have the wontons out and you're gonna do the work, make a lot, because they freeze really well, and then all of a sudden, company comes over, you're like, what are we gonna do? Well, we've got some butter chicken, Bollywood dumplings in the freezer, pull those out. Ha! Ah! Okay, dumplings are done, time to make the sauce. So the sauce, again, it kind of mirrors everything that's already in the dumplings. So ginger, onions, garlic, I'm gonna use all of the spices. Delicious. And then to make the sauce, classic butter chicken sauce, you need some tomato, you need some chilies to keep it really nice and spicy. And I can't forget the cream, and it wouldn't be a butter chicken sauce without, you guessed it, butter. All right, let's do this. All right, to start this butter chicken sauce, it's really easy. A little bit of butter, I'm gonna start with butter and finish with butter, because in Indian cooking, that's what they do. They use a lot of butter. So once the butter gets in there, it's a perfect time to get a bit of the onions in there. You wanna hear a nice sizzle, and then a lot of ginger and garlic. Ginger, onions, and garlic, it's the holy trinity. That's how you start some flavor. Just move it around. Awesome. You just wanna let it cook there for a minute. Let the onions soften up. You can smell it already. There's so much flavor, natural oils in the garlic and the ginger. You put the oil and butter in there and it starts to season the oil and butter. That's how you build flavor. It already smells delicious. So just as the veg is starting to just relax and soften a little bit, I like to go in with the chilies. Then I can judge my heat. If I put all the spices in and then I finish with chilies, I'm kind of lost and I like the perfect amount of spice. It should just kind of like sing on the end of your list. All right, and this is the fun part, spice it out. So a little bit of the coriander, it's really nice and fruity, fragrant. A tiny touch of the garam masala. You need the paprika because the paprika is gonna give it that classic butter chicken color, like that beautiful deep red color. And then cumin again is gonna make it taste Indian. So don't be shy with the cumin. And for a little bit of color, just a shot of turmeric. Not too much, not too little, just the right amount, a kiss. Perfect, and then toast the spices. You don't wanna toast it too long, because if you burn them, they lose their fragrance. You just wanna wake them up, you know? It's like a cup of coffee in the morning. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Perfect, and then you can go in with the liquid. So, a little bit of the tomato paste, and that's how I like to do it. The veg, then the chilies, then the spices, and then you put the tomato paste in there. And tomato paste is great, but if you start to cook it with the spices, the tomato paste isn't so bitter anymore, and it kind of sweetens up a little bit. It's really cool. And then this is a good tip. When I add the liquid, the cream, I do a bit at a time. If you add the whole thing, you're gonna stand there for a while to get it all really nice and smooth. So a little bit, mix it all together, and keep adding the cream. It's awesome, you can see the color change already. It's beautiful. Yeah, get it all around, move it around, get the tomato paste in there. Awesome, see what I mean? Then a little shot of cream. Starting to smell good. <laughs> so once it's really nice and smooth with the cream, you wanna heighten all the flavors and the spices and everything you just did. So a good pinch of salt. And then, here's a really good tip. I like to finish with the butter, but here's something really cool. If you want the sauce really nice and smooth and silky, start with cold butter, put it in in small little cubes, turn the heat down a little bit, and then just take your time. Just swish it around the pan and just keep it moving till all the butter is melted. And the butter is great because it's so spicy, there's a lot of heat, there's so much going on in there that you hit it with a little bit of cream and a little bit of butter and it just cools it out. It really balances the sauce and it's got a great color. Once the butter's all melted in, just turn down the heat and continue to let it cook. It's really intense right now, but as you cook, the spices kind of mellow out and you get a really clean sauce. So, 
For the dumplings, this is really easy. I like to steam it. So just a steamer pot on some boiling water. Surprise. And then a nice piece of parchment paper keeps everything non-stick. And then you can go on with the dumplings. And remember that there's raw chicken in there, so you want to give it a good steam. Well, the butter chicken sauce blips away and gets really nice and tasty. It gives you time to steam up these dumplings. Awesome, perfect. And then once they're steamed, they go into the sauce. Delicious. All right, buddy, good luck. All right, so the sauce is really nice and cooked down, and this is the best part. So just take the lid off the dumplings, and they can go right into the sauce. They're really nice and cooked, and if you touch it, the meat's really nice and firm so that you know it's cooked. Then right into the sauce. Yeah, get them really nice and glazed. Smell so good. Yeah, and even when I have them in the sauce, I like to take a spoon and just really mix them up and get them coated in that beautiful sauce. Look at that. That's so good and that filling is so delicious, but that sauce is so decadent. That's a mouthful. Awesome. So the sauce and the dumplings are so rich and so decadent that this is a sauce to kind of cool out all the spices and bring it all together. It's super simple. So a little bit of yogurt and sour cream. I like to go half and half. Sour cream and yogurt have a little bit of tartness to it, but it's really rich and creamy and it's a good way to cut through all of the spices in the sauce. So to play with that a little bit, a little shot of chili, and then some lemon. There's so much fat in this sauce that if you give it a really good squeeze of citrus, it kind of just drives through the fat a little bit and makes the sauce really nice and balanced. And then to help that out, you want a nice pinch of salt and for a good cooling effect, some cilantro or coriander, just a bit of a rough chop. And then I like it when the sauce isn't super thick because I like a ton of it. So once you get the yogurt, sour cream, the chilies, the lemon, the salt, and the cilantro in it, I give it a little shot of water. It's really colorful and you can smell it already and it has such a nice cooling effect to the dumplings. All right, let's plate it up. I like to make things look pretty. These dumplings are delicious. And I like the texture of it. The wonton has this chewy effect and that chicken is pretty stiff but really spiced out. And then a nice creamy sauce and the sauce has a ton of texture in it because of the ginger, the onions, the garlic, all the spices. It's so delicious. It's super well balanced. And then especially if you take some of the yogurt sauce and just kind of dance it in and around, it has a wonderful cooling effect and if you find that it's getting too hot, you get a little bit of that yogurt sauce. It kind of refreshes you and it's like starting from the beginning again. And then just for a little bit of crunch, some cashews. You could use peanuts if you want, but I find cashews, a little toasted cashews, gives a great pop of crunch. And if you whistle when you do it, it makes it taste better. And then just some fresh coriander on the top. Looks so pretty. It's gonna change your whole life. And like I said, it's, they're really great to batch make them. Put some in the freezer, they look really good, they freeze really well, then all you have to do is steam them, put them in your favorite sauce, and you're laughing. They look great. I can't forget about myself. These things are so crazy, packed with so much flavor. And that's the balance, that's the bite right there. You want a nice balance from the wrapper to the chicken to the sauce and the yogurt. Seriously, I need a minute. They're so good. It's ridiculous. If you want to talk about flavor, that thing comes in like a hand grenade. I love the wrapper. Mm. It's got a great chew to it. But the chicken's like this nice little meatball inside and it's super spiced out. The butter chicken sauce is really nice and creamy, but that yogurt, the yogurt is all about the balance. You get a little bit of yogurt on there, you just want to dive in. If you excuse me, I'm going to go eat this. Mm -hmm.